If you want to land an interview, you have to tailor your resume. Now, what does that even mean? How do you do that? Well, that's what we're going to cover today. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Liam, and here at Teal, through our educational resources and job search tools, we've helped thousands of people find jobs. And if your job search is taking longer than you'd like, let's look at the 10 steps for how to make your resume even better than it is right now. All right, so first off, you have to understand what even is a tailored resume? Well, this is a resume that is customized to match a particular job or company that you're applying to. It all stems from the job description and you're considering things like specific language used, responsibilities mentioned, and doing things like company research to find out employer expectation. And then you're adding all those things to your resume. Yes, it is kind of involved, but why do you want to do something like this? Well, the job market is pretty much a mess right now. Positions are in high demand and a tailored resume is it's just going to help you stand out. It's going to allow you to highlight valuable skills and accomplishments relevant to that position. And your resume's purpose is to get you an interview and a tailored resume is going to increase your chances of that happening. Now, you don't have to write up a brand new resume for every job. What you want to do is write up what we call a base resume. The one that you have right now is probably totally fine to start with. And from here, you're going to make new variations of that resume. We're here in the Teal Resume Builder. That's what you're looking at. So let's go ahead and start tailoring our resume and let's go through the 10 steps. Step number one is you want to find a specific job to tailor your resume for. Like we said, you want to think about each unique application as needing a unique resume. First, what we're going to do is we're going to take this job that we're looking at and save it with the Teal Chrome extension. We'll fly out the tool, which recently got an update. Click save at the bottom and then view. And now that we have our job saved in our tracker, we can go in and start looking at some of the initial items. First up, you want to see whether or not you have to have a degree, how many years of experience are required, what the day to day responsibilities are. That's also just like personal job research and then things like what previous work experience experience is important to this role and then what tools you'll need to be familiar with. Look at all those things and if you're still rolling on this job, cool. Step two is research the company. From right here in the Teal Job Tracker, you can head to their LinkedIn and then find their company site. And from there, what you're looking for with this step is looking into what the company does and what they stand for. You'd be surprised how far being well versed in the company product or services goes in an interview. Their website probably has all that listed somewhere, but you can also check their social channels or pro tip if the company is big enough, look for an interview or like a podcast with the head of the company and listen to how they talk about their company. That's going to give you a good idea of their messaging. Now, moving on, step three, this is kind of high level, but the first half of your resume, that top half of the page, that's where you want to focus your time. Everything about a resume is about keeping a hiring manager reading on. So all your best content, concise and high value detail, that's got to be found in that first window of first impression, because if they aren't sold on you halfway down the page, they will more than likely move on. So don't bank on something high value that you've left towards like the bottom of the page. Let's keep going. Step number four, adjust your target title. If you have something listed here already, it is probably your current title. But as the name suggests, you want to put the title that you're going for. This is going to show intention of the career direction you're going, but also something like, um, you know, copywriter, content writer and content marketer. These all might have the same responsibilities, but be different titles at different companies. And whatever title the company uses, you want to actually have that, of course, as well, because, you know, applying to a job listing a title that's not the one you're going for, that doesn't look good. Step number five, now we're getting into editing. You want to modify your professional summary. Now, if you don't have a professional summary at all, this is basically an elevator pitch for your career, a very quick paragraph summarizing your value in your industry. And to tailor this, you want to start using specific language from the job description. One of the things you'll list in your professional summary is top skills. So go back to the job description and in the teal job tracker, you'll see this list of hard skills here on the right. And these are what you want to pull from and you want to present these skills in a way similar to how they're framed in the job description. Now you do want to be honest here. This isn't lying about your experience. That's what some people think tailoring is just like copying the job description to your resume. It's not that it's highlighting the experience that you do have and taking the parts that are most relevant to the job that you're looking at. And that's what you're displaying on your resume. You're going to do that starting with your professional summary. And then also step six is modifying your bullet point achievements. This is probably the most important 
important section of your resume. This is where a hiring manager is really looking for some good value and you need to display that. A good tip here is to turn each responsibility into a question, add can I or have I to the start of each responsibility item. And then if that answer is yes, that's like the reference or frame for what achievement you add. And then for tailoring, step seven is gonna be to incorporate specific keywords. The exact keywords will of course depend on your industry and specific job you're going for. But this is where you need to look at the hard skills. In the Teal Job Tracker, you can check out that list again and you're looking for the skills that you have experience in. And using specific keywords from the job description is great because not only does it show that you understand the role and what's being asked of it, but it's also great for an ATS and keyword flagging and it hits that element of tailoring where your very specific and relevant experience, that's what's being highlighted. Now that's like 90% of the tailoring work, showing relevant skills, covering relevant experience, and rephrasing your existing resume more for a specific resume. But how do you know how well matched your resume is to the job that you're going for? Well, that's step eight of the process. We're gonna go over a really cool teal feature called matching mode. Here in the resume builder up at the top, you'll see this matching mode icon. And if you click on that, you'll see a job from your tracker, a match percent percentage. And then also you'll see that list of keywords again, the same one that you can see when you're looking at the job description. But for how the tool works is next to the keyword, you'll see a symbol referencing the status of that keyword. Green represents the keyword is active in your resume. A blue exclamation mark means you have it in your career history, but that item is not toggled on and therefore inactive on your resume. And then a red X means that keyword is nowhere to be found. What you want to do is use matching mode, almost like a keyword checker. If a keyword is missing in you can work it into your resume, whether that's your professional summary, bullet point achievements, or skill section as a last resort, you wanna do so. The match score then tells you how matched your resume is to the job. Anywhere above 70% we say is good, but of course, the more keywords you can add, the better. And once you've done that step of incorporating all the keywords, go through it. It's very necessary. Proofread your resume, run it through top to bottom, check everything, run it through a spell checker, have someone else look at it. And then step 10 to add a nice bow to your awesome crafted resume is use that new crafted resume and the original job description to create a custom cover letter. If you have Teal Plus, you can generate this right within the platform on the cover letter tab, but otherwise you can do this with the help of AI and something like ChatGPT. Try a prompt out like this, write a conversational cover letter for a job application as a position at company, using the information below as a reference in 150 words or less. Then just copy in your resume, copy in the job description and let it run. As always with AI writing, check for errors and accuracy. Who knows who actually still reads cover letters anymore, but it's still important to nail all that down. And if we haven't scared you off the idea of tailoring your resume, we absolutely do recommend that you put these steps into practice. As you can see, it's extremely involved, but as you can imagine, most people aren't doing this. So if you do, that is a massive step ahead of the competition when it comes to your application being the one that's moved forward. As always, y'all, if you have any further questions, hit us down in the comments, like the video if you had a good time, subscribe for more job search content, check out Teal for an awesome suite of tools to help with your job search, and until next time, Give your dog some pets for me and take care.